Okay, Chris, so this is your very first lesson. And we thought we'd do something fun. We've got Nathan providing background music. You can pan across to Ruth. There, Nathan's playing the background music. We've got Kristen doing some store photography for the recipe later. And we've got Robin controlling the video. Okay, so there's a little bit of everything. But I thought it's very important from the very outset to explain to you one important concept. And that is the difference between cheating and sabotage. And I know a lot of the reasons why we fail and why I failed in the past and you may have failed in the past is the concept of cheat meals and things like that. So I want to offer you one tip and that is that sabotage and cheating are very different. If we think of cheating as a concept, cheating gets you closer to the goal. Cheating always by definition gets you closer to the goal. So if you're doing something that is getting you further away from the goal, it's called sabotage. It's not called cheating. So I'm going to offer you a cheat meal that helps you fall forward rather than falling backwards. And that is my fat bomb recipe. It's something that you can use for cocoa. It's something you can use for uh, a cheat meal if you feel like something. But I want to get it across very clearly from the outset that this is not a sweet treat. It's very important to go unsweetened from the beginning. If you're in such an important position as you are right now, I would always go unsweetened rather than cheating or sabotaging yourself by introducing false sweetness. So and I'll tell you why. There are two reasons. One is that false sweetness or artificial sweetness still promote an insulin response in the body. Just the thought of sweetness triggers an insulin response. And it's the insulin that is your enemy at the moment. And the second reason is that you want to kick the sweetness cravings from the beginning. Not let it linger, not delay, not make it harder in a week to come. Kick it in three days rather than it being a journey. So this is an unsweetened fat bomb recipe that we use for breakfast for instead of coffee in the morning and you can have it as a quick thing if you're just craving that uh, chocolate thing. So Kristen has already taken photos of the ingredients. We've got cocoa which is a primary ingredient. We've got coconut oil, cinnamon, salt, vanilla and butter. And I'm going to show you very simply. We've prepared with some ice cube trays. I've got two ice cube trays here. And I've got a little overflow Tupperware. It's a little shallow Tupperware there that, will that you can pour any overflow into that. And then we'll create some chocolate shards at the end that are just snacks. Okay, so let me show you how this works. I've, we're going to double boil this. So on the stove, I've got heat. In a jar, I'm going to do the oil-based products first. You see here, we actually went out and we got a new jar of coconut oil just so that this would look really lany for you. I'm going to use equal quantities of butter and coconut oil. So because I'm going to use, and I'm going to just do this right now, because I'm going to use half a brick, 250 grams worth of butter, I'm going to cut that in half right now. We put that on the double boiler. Let's just cut it right nice and thin to make it boil quickly and easily. We get that on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do an uh, equal quantity of coconut oil. And this has just come straight out of the store. And we're going to get in approximately an equal consistency of coconut oil. That's about a quarter of a litre. So there's an equal consistency of coconut oil and butter in there. Okay, let's put this back on the double boiler. We're going to get that right up to heat very quickly. We're going to let that uh, reduce. And while it's uh, reducing to an oil, I'm going to tell you the other ingredients. Okay. We've got one teaspoon of salt. Okay, now salt is going to be very important. When you go off any processed ingredients, salt becomes vital because you're not receiving it 
through any of the artificial means, through pastas, through processed cereals, through things like that. So salt actually helps you deal with some of your cravings. It's very important. So I've put in a, a reasonable amount in there. Um, then what we're going to add is we're going to add some cinnamon. Um, we're going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. And Colette's already prepared all these ingredients. Okay, a liberal amount of cinnamon there. Now cinnamon is great for your, um, for your blood pressure, for all of those things that you're going to need in the future. Uh, as you go through this process, we're going to reduce blood sugar, we're going to reduce blood pressure, we're going to just add healthy fats to help with all those healthy hormones. And then I'm going to start now. You can see that's reducing quite quickly on the double boiler. Just our simple double boiler. You've got the coconut, the butter. We've got the cinnamon uh, getting in there. And now I'm going to add cocoa. We're going to do four tablespoons of co cocoa. Now, a lot of your sweet cravings are going to be associated with sugar and with chocolate. So we're going to make this a chocolate treat that helps you, like I say, fall forward not fall backwards. This isn't a sabotage. This is a cheat. Every ingredient in here is still healthy, which is why we're not doing the sugars. I think that was four. Was that four? I think that was four. So you can, you can never err on the side of too much cocoa. So this is raw, unse unse unsweetened cocoa. And then the last thing we're going to add is we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla just for that flavor. So a teaspoon, well this is actually half a teaspoon, so we're going to just go two of those. There we go. So it's not a vanilla treat, but vanilla has got some happy hormones, uh, happy hormone creating ingredients. So we're going for happiness here, we're going towards something that's going to make you fall forward, something that's going to make it easy for you. If you get cravings that you've got something in the fridge ready to go, that you don't binge on something that's bad for you. So one of my first trips is create the escape route. Create the thing that you're going to fall back on if you just feel like I've just got to have something. I'm absolutely craving chocolate i'm craving sweetness and the amami flavors in here should override any sweet desires okay that is so close to having double boiled and we're going to get as much of it so basically i've done a ratio of very similarly uh, of similar amounts of cocoa of coconut oil and of butter and that's just creating a chocolate treat there. That is so close to being all, I can feel any grittiness from the cinnamons and the salt. They're almost, almost uh, infused into the liquid there. All right, then when that's a nice. Okay, so we're at the point now where we're going to pour it. We've uh, mixed our, our little mix of butter, coconut oil, and cocoa primarily and then a little bit of flavoring. We need the salt for the um, salts that you're going to need as you uh, start releasing a lot of water when you go off the carbs. So we need um, the irons. But um, here we go, we've got our mixture. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get as many ice blocks as I can. And so I'm just gonna pour this in. Okay. You can't tell me looking at this that you're going to feel hard done by in this whole process. So, and I've, so I'm going to get as many cubes as I can done. And if for some reason I need the little overflow, my little Tupperware is going to take the overflow while it's still warm. But I think we're going to get the, I think we've got this just right. That's actually the perfect mixture today. And it's just all evening itself out. We're getting the last bits of salt and cinnamon scraped out. Anything that hasn't scraped through. Okay. So now, Chris, this is going to, when it's slightly cooler, it's going to go into the freezer or into the fridge. 
we put into the freezer to just rush it a bit. And then when it's cold and hardened, break it out.